Hello again and welcome to another edition of Real Ale Guide. Um, a brewery tour today in Brains for St. David's Day, uh, the patron saint of Wales. We're just rolling in to Cardiff Central Station where the brewery is based. And if you see in the background there, we just there's the brewery there just in the background. Okay, here we are then, Central Station. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we're heading to the brewery for a day out in Brains. Okay, we're going to cut back when we're actually in the brewery, but thanks for watching for now. Cheers. Hello again. Welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. We are actually at Brains Brewery. They have their own on-site bar. Which is the Crochet Arms. We're going to go in there for a, in a beer in a moment. But first of all, we're just going to get a video of the, of the brewery itself. All the large equipment they've got here. Looks absolutely fantastic. So that's just a quick look at the brewery with the pub and now we're going to go in and have a beer. Cheers. Hello again, welcome to another edition of Real Air Guide. Um, we're here with Bill Dobson, the head of Brains Brewery in Cardiff, Wales. It's St David's Day so we're going to have a point of their reasonably new in the last year. They've been produ producing the Brains Black, fine, finest Welsh stout. And we've got some classic Welsh St David's Day fare to go with it. So. Thank you, Phil. It's okay, I'll pour you a pint. So how long have you been here, Phil? Um, I've worked with Brains for the last four years. Um, yesterday, actually, was my uh, fourth anniversary with the company. Great. So, uh, yeah, it's been a uh, very interesting four years. And it's, uh, it's, um, it's a great company to work for. Right? Fantastic. Yeah, that's a really, really good pint. Yeah. There's, um, there's one that's already made. Oh, if you want to, we'll do a, a joint review if you like in the brains black. So as you can see, I'll get it nice and close to the camera. Is that? It's got a great, great look about it. Settling into the glass, good creamy consistency to the head. At the bottom is very dark in colour, as you'd imagine with the name of the beer. Um, I'll, I'll just drink some a minute and then I'll be able to swirl the, the beer around to get some aromas. Okay. It's very, it's very, very smooth. I'm not getting too much aromas past the head, but the taste is phenomenal. Super smooth with get the dark chocolate malts in the drink. It's 4.1% in the ABV. It's produced in uh, cask, cans, and is it bottles? No, it's keg, keg, keg and cans. Keg it's, and uh, cans? It's in the um, smooth flow can, so the can product pours, you know, like the keg product that you've, uh, that you've seen dispensed. Okay. So what kind of flavours are you getting in the, uh, in the beer, Bill? Well, it, it's a stout at the end of the day, and it's um, in terms of, of, of the ingredients that go in there, there's chocolate malt in there, which gives that real beautiful, deep, rich yeah. roast flavours in there. So there's coffee flavours in there, there's roasted malt flavours yeah. in there, there's burnt caramel flavours in there, you know, it's a real rich depth of flavour. Countered with that is 
is a sharp bitterness from, from the hops, you know, which characterises a good stout. It's got to have that bitterness at the back of the throat. Yes. Um, and then to top it all off is the thick, creamy head that, you know, as you can see, stays down the glass all the way. Um, you know, it dispenses as you've seen in terms of the surge in there to use a beautiful head and, and gives you that smoothness all the way down. And, um, when you get to the bottom of the glass, I think it makes you want another one. It's very, very smooth and it's very robust. It's a very robust beer. Um, I'm getting all them flavours you mentioned, the caramel, the chocolate bitterness, the coffee. It's absolutely fantastic. It is right up there with the best out I've ever tried. I drunk um, an old style porter just a few days ago from St. Peter's on the channel, and this is right up there with taste levels, the feel. And what I like about this beer is an added bonus is the fact that it's really, really cold, and you can still get them flavours. Sometimes with certain beers, they, if, if you were to cool a beer down too much, you would lose the flavour, but certainly not with this. I'm not finding this with this at all. At the end of the day, it's, it's designed around a keg dispense, so it's designed around a cold around keg dispense, so it's important that the flavours are there at that level of temperature that it's designed to be served at. Um, so, you know, it's not, it's not a cast beer that's been served as a keg beer or something like that, it's been served extra cold. It's, it's designed to be flavoursome at that dispense temperature. It's great, it's great. Okay, I think I'm going to rate this beer now, and after that, you have to join me for part two, because I'm going to be asking Bill, head brewer of brains, um, a few questions for the channel. Um, first of all, before I do go, um, it's St. David's Day in Wales, we got some classic Welsh fare, so we're going to, we're going to pair, this, pair this beer up with some food. A good, good wild sausage here. Some some brave black. And it goes very well. You can certainly, even with with other, you can probably go with most foods with this beer. Um, certainly, I would probably choose um, a good Welsh curry or a good curry for that matter to go with this beer, but. I think it's time for a rating. We'll give it a rating out of 10, as we always do. And for the fact that, like I just mentioned, it's robust, it's got a good body, it's fantastic lacing on the glass, it's kept its head as I'm drinking the beer, it's good dark caramel qualities, um, coffee, chocolate. And the fact that it's sitting well in my stomach while I'm eating food, which we have eaten before um, we've gone on air, um, I'm going to give this a big 9 out of 10. This gets a 9 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Bill for joining me with this beer. Um, join me for part 2. I'm going to ask Bill some questions. And cheers. <laughs>